Oh, hello. Hi, Will. Hi, Natalie. Uh, this is a really great bench you built. I, I love this um, kind of natural, kind of uric, we say in Switzerland. Really mm. stable and good. It's nice. It's so big that one can actually lay here and we call this the grove. And this is actually new. We planted all the plants here. We planted last autumn. And this is a lemon tree, an apple tree, and behind Will is a beautiful peach tree. And then look at these lanterns, they just come voluntarily. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so we have more flowers coming up, like the African daisies and the verbena. Mm. Here, and the ice plants, how gorgeous the ice plants are. They're so fine, mm. like feathers. And then here is the kumquats. has uh, some kumquats on there, mm -hmm. all over, and blooming, and making some new ones. And this is the Korean lilac, and it smells so good. <sighs> Great. And here we are arriving by the first planted apple tree. And it's mm -hmm. still flowering. We have the pineapple, the guava, and this is the avocado. It's mm -hmm. just growing and growing. Oh, and on the right we have the fig tree. Yes, and it has uh, lots of figs. Lots of figs. Beautiful big leaves. Wonderful. And this is the cherry tree. It's just about over with the blossoms. And everywhere there are some herbs like marjoram and thyme, peach tree. And this is another herb. This is forage. And it attracts the bees, really. Uh, amazingly so it's like full of bees and this is so important for the garden that we have lots of flowers and especially herb flowers the bees love and then um, we have mm -hmm. the apple trees and and then the pollinate it's beautiful and here we have it our young grapefruit tree yeah with a <laughs> grapefruit and massive big flowers. Mm -hmm. Good pollen for the bees. Lemon tree. Here we have another. This is a king fig. Mm -hmm. uh, this makes like green figs and when they're ripe. And this is like intoxicating. <laughs> this is it's so incredible. It's, I smell it throughout the whole garden. We both smell it. And it goes all up there. Oh, wow, high up into the trees, yeah. the jasmine. Yes, mm -hmm. once a year, and then one enjoys it. The Asian pear has lots of little Fruit. pears coming. And since last time, we have a, a new patch. We call it the mulberry patch because it has the mulberry tree with and some mulberry. little mulberries coming. And these are all stalks of kale. And look how they're, they're coming. This will be big leaves of kale. Mm -hmm. We'll have plenty of kale. And so here we have a new addition too. We had to <laughs> do another tripping system because it's so many plants need water. And this hose, I'm telling you, this is fabulous. This is a non-kink. If, if it kinks like this, you just pull and it undoes it. And then it has a swivel here. So you never have to fight with it, you know, because it turns around or 
uh, I have to show you. <laughs> so this is really great and Will did such a wonderful job. And then we... California poppies. Persimmon tree, one of them. Mm -hmm. And then come the raised beds. This is a really good idea to do because uh, sometimes one is a little bit disturbed by, you know, gophers and all kinds of uh, beautiful animals, but we like some food too. So we have a, a metal grid at the bottom, a mesh, and then good soil in here and then covering it up and then it's all safe. <laughs> Lots of almonds on the almond tree. Yes. Look, like right here mm -hmm. are the almonds. Yeah. It's full of almonds. Yeah. And lots of peppermint mm -hmm. everywhere. And the other persimmon, lavender. Mm -hmm. Put this in the smoothie in the morning. It's really tasty. And this is the Anna apple here, for example, and these are the first apples. They will be 1st of June about. They're ripe. One can just bite into it. And here we have goji. We have quite a few plants and this is a, the third persimmon. I know who loves it. Will Yeah, we just planted it. this one yesterday. Yes. Brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. And this is a bed uh, for the compost. We have compost bin, which are these drums or any compost bin you like to have for putting it first in. And then afterwards we put it on this designated place. It's about that deep. And then we cover it up with leaves and with wood chips and I can't say it's strongly enough. It's great to have wood chips. It's hardly any weeds, and also it makes this beautiful soil. Like, for example, there is, look at this black soil here, mm. black. We've been putting these chips down every year for now eight years. So we have a deep layer. Yes, yeah. yes, we have so, nice so much. Raised bed here. Yes, here we have another uh -huh. one. This is our first one. Look how easy it is. I hope Will will make a demo of how to build it because I think these are the easiest raised beds because it's with one hand. I can have the scissors, the basket, and everything, and with one hand I just put it up. Mm -hmm. and it has some Swiss chard, some kale, uh, onions. It has arugula, then parsley, and some strawberries and other kale, and some fennel. So lots of good things. It has magnets, so it's holding here. And then this is the Mirabel tree. It's something which isn't that known, but it's sugar plums, called also, and it's so delicious. We maybe should plant another one. Mm -hmm. And then we have some more ice plants here. And some more kale. Flowers here and grapes. This is a raised trellis. A walnut tree. Walnut tree. And there is a lemon. Yes. Mandarins back there. Yeah. The mandarin is here, the ripe mandarin, and it's flowering again and it's making new leaves. It's such a wonderful thing. And these are very delicate. And of 
pots we have everywhere flowers for the bees and some more borage and beautiful strawberries the flowers and here is the and some more fennel and more flowers <laughs> yeah so oh the apricots maybe quickly not they're Back coming to apricots, along yeah. too yeah. yeah so and then the iris and with this we will say goodbye till next time